and welcome to Moving Deep. <clears throat> this morning, I just, I really want to get at least 30 minutes of movement in my body, but I, I'm, this is my first time in this location, and uh, not entirely sure how the mosquitoes are going to be. They were a little relentless last night, so to prepare for class today, I am going to anti-bug spray, all natural family protection, <clears throat> and we will just we'll just have to see how it goes um and obviously in the description you know how long this class is so you already know if i made it the full 30 minutes 30 ish but i i do not know right now <laughs> so find your way to your mat and take any time you need to kind of settle in Maybe you just find a few organic movements of your shoulders, of your mouth. Maybe there's some parts of your body that need a little extra love right now, so you find a little massage. Maybe you start to notice. Notice beyond your body, your head space, your heart space. If there's any particular reason beyond the physical that brought you to your mat today? Anything you're going to be working out and through and toward? And then if you haven't already made your way to a seat, go ahead and find your way to a seat now. And if it's not comfortable for you to be on your knees, you can stay on your tush and cross-legged. But if it is comfortable for you to be on your knees for at least a few minutes, go ahead and come back onto your knees and let your hands fall into your lap. And let the eyes shut down. And tune into the noises around you in your environment. Maybe they're animals. Maybe it's water. Maybe it's children. Traffic. Construction. Without hanging on to any one thing too long, just notice and then move on. Notice and then move on. Beautiful. And then we're going to shift our awareness from the environment, from all those things you just noticed, to the inner workings of our being. And again, it's not just going to be physical. It will be mental, spiritual, emotional. Like, we're going to take a list. You can list body parts. You can list emotions. You can list people that are creating emotions. Just tick on by. I like to call it taking inventory. And slowly bring yourself to this very moment. 
and start observing the space between your inhales and your exhales. Not holding the breath too long, just noticing that top and that bottom of your breath. Beautiful. Take a really full inhale. Now we're going to add a little retention. Hold the breath. See if you can find more length in the spine, a drop in the shoulders. A draw in through the navel so the low back is supported. Then sip in a little more breath. And then exhale completely, rounding the back, bringing the chin to the chest. Inhale, lift the head, lift the throat, pull the shoulders back, and then exhale round. Two more of these, breathe in, lift and lengthen. Breathe out, round. One more, breathe in, stretch large, breathe chin and then exhale to the chest beautiful inhale sit nice and tall and as you do sort of slide your arms up to your torso up your body and reach really really tall nice high v breathe in a little bigger and then exhale, slowly invite your left hand to the outside of your right leg and your right arm way behind you. Let the head follow if that feels appropriate for your neck. And we're here for three, two, huge inhale. And exhale, start to swim your right arm up, 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 over and down across the body to the outside of the left leg. Then inhale, slide your left hand way along behind you. Find a nice gentle twist. For three. Get a huge breath in. And as you exhale, lift the left arm up, over, and down, across, and then both hands will be on the opposite knees. And again, you can be doing this even if you're crisscross applesauce. And you're just going to find a really subtle pullback in the spine, in the jaw. Not the jaw, what am I talking about? In the spine. So the chin will tuck, and you're just going to Pull the body, the arms are like leverage so that you can feel that back body open a little bit. The arms are straightened. The spine is pulling away from the body. You can feel this in the neck, the shoulders, the low back. A little lean from side to side kind of changes and shifts where exactly it's feeling. One more inhale here. And then exhale, slowly release the hands up the body. Crawl the arms around yourself and give yourself one big giant squeeze. Inhale. And exhale, gently release. Gorgeous. Put the left hand down by your body and inhale. Slide the right arm up and over. And as you slide the right arm up and over left, you're going to crawl your left fingers forward, forward, forward. By forward, I mean out to the side. You're gonna find just a nice big side body moment. You can move the head a little bit here if that feels right. For three, for two, huge inhale. And then exhale, slowly crawl the hands back, and then we'll place the right palm down. And inhale that left palm up and over. 
Yeah, and, and you can crawl the right palm further, also pressing into that palm a lot and pressing the right shoulder down and away from the ear can feel really good. Breathe big. Three. Two. Full round in. And then exhale, slowly bring yourself up to center and find a little organic wiggle. <clears throat> Beautiful. Then you're going to put your hands down by your sides. Lean forward. Uncross the legs if they are crossed. And everybody's going to tuck their toes. Take a big breath in. And then exhale, gently press the body back so we're on our feet. Knees are bent. And just to discover the hips this morning, shift the weight into the right leg. And let's bring our left hand to the top of our left knee. And you're just going to invite the left knee down towards the mat. And then press it out and away from you with the heel of the hand. Inhale it down. Exhale, press it out and away. Just one more of those. Inhale down. Exhale out and away. Beautiful. Shift sides. Right hand will come to the inside of that right leg. Inhale, press it down. Exhale, press it open. Inhale, down we go. Exhale, up we go. Just one more down. And up. Beautiful. Back through center. Bring the hands to heart. And this is a big one. This is intense. So if it feels really ooh, rough as the first one of the first shapes you're making in practice, that's all right. Just notice. Let the everything collapse a little bit with a breath out. And with a breath in, pull up, pull long. And get really soft in the hips. Tuck the chin slightly so you're long in the neck. We're here for three. For two. Huge inhale. And exhale, gently take the palms to the mat. Breathe in. And exhale, hip to the sky. Yeah, and explore around here a lot. Sway side to side. Let the head drop completely. Let the jaw let go. Roll the eyes a bit, maybe. And then crawl your hands over to the right leg. And as you crawl the hands to the right leg, sweep the toes towards the front of the mat or back, whichever way the right leg takes you. And then lift up the left heel. So we're in a nice deep lunge here. Beautiful. And if the hands are framing the foot, go ahead and toe heel the, the right foot to the outside of the mat or even just the outside of the right hand. So the hands are to the inside of the foot and then find yourself rocking from heels to toes back and forth while you just warm up your, your legs, your tendons, your joints, your breath. Beautiful. And the next time you're forward, go ahead and set that back knee down. And we're going to find a lunging cat cow. Inhale, lift the head and the heart. Exhale, press everything back. Shift the hips back. Lift your right toes. Curl your chin to chest. Follow your belly. Breathe in. Come forward. Lift. Lengthen. Maybe that knee spills out to the side if that feels good. And then breathe out, press back. Then 
Okay, then go forward. Breathe out, press back. Gorgeous. The next time you're forward, stay forward. Maybe the knee spills out. We're just going to be here for three breaths. Maybe you rock a little bit. Maybe you stay still. Whatever feels like it's going to honor your bod. Awesome. Big breath in. And then exhale, tuck your back toes if they aren't already, draw your front knee in, lift your back knee, and then pivot your right toes back. So you're going to come through a nice wide-legged stretch here. <clears throat> wide-legged forward fold. Inhale, flat back, long spine. And exhale, bow. Inhale, flat back, long spine. Exhale, bow. One more of these. Inhale, flat back. Ride that wave. And exhale, bow. Gorgeous. And then start to crawl your hands over to the left. And as you do, your left toes face left and face forward or to the back of the mat. And we're gonna find our hands to the inside of the left leg and then find your rock back and forth, coming onto the tippy toes of both feet and then dropping the heels towards the earth. The back heel probably won't hit the mat, that's fine. Just find your rock back and forth. Gorgeous, and then gently set that back knee down. Inhale, lift the head and the heart. Bow the left leg out if that feels right. And then exhale, pull the left knee and shift the hips back. Bring the chin to the chest, hollow the belly. Left toes come towards face as the foot flexes. And then breathe in, journey forward, lift, lengthen. Exhale, press it back. Inhale, crawl it forward. Exhale, press it back. Inhale, crawl it forward. Beautiful, last time back. And as you come forward this time, if the toes aren't tucked already, go ahead and tuck the toes. Breathe in, fill up. As you exhale, pick up that back leg. Start to straighten the left leg and crawl the hands back through center. Nice, wide-legged forward fold. Inhale, flat back, long spine. And then tick-tock your hips so you let one hip fall lower and then the other. You go side to side here. Gorgeous. Nice and slow, bring the hips back level with each other. Take a full breath in. Turn your heels in. Bend your knees a lot. You still have a flat back, that's fine. And as you exhale, start to press into the legs, roll the torso up. Inhale, reach up. Nice and wide, become a star, because you are a star. And then exhale, hands to heart center, bend the knees a lot. And then kind of pogo up and down a little bit here, just feeling into the strength of the legs. Maybe you sway a little side to side. Maybe you close the eyes. Definitely you feel the weight of your body pressing down through the whole sole of both your feet.
Now, if you want to challenge your balance here, feel free to close your eyes. We're going to be here for about five more breaths and take it however you need to. Be sure to press into the, even the knife edge of the whole foot so that your knees pull open. Maybe you challenge yourself a little lower. Two more breaths. You can. You're strong. All right, my friend. Take one more inhale. And as you exhale, straighten those legs. And then as you inhale, lift those hands to the sky. Send your hips forward. Find like this micro back bend here as you send the hips forward and lift the chest high. And with a breath out, slowly bring the hands back to heart center. And close the eyes and toe heel the feet so they're right below your hips. Beautiful. Take a huge inhale. And as you exhale, interlace your hands. Breathe in. As you breathe out, send the heels of your hands away from you. Elbows nice and long. Inner elbows nice and long. And with your next inhale, pull the pinkies up high as you can. Nice warm, big swooping breath here. And then exhale, we'll pause you at your, at your end point, at your threshold rather. Full breath in. Stay for the breath out. Settle your shoulders. Notice if your tush is sticking out a lot and so is your heart. Bring your heart and your tush back in line with each other. Big breath in. And as you exhale, slowly bring the palms to knee and sit down chair. Gorgeous. And just like we did at the beginning of class, but we were a on our booties. Take a huge inhale. As you exhale, slide your right hand to the outside of your left knee. And then inhale, swoop your left arm down and back, coming into a half open arm twist. If you don't really like this, you can inhale your other arm up here and be in a full open arm twist, but sometimes it can be a little nice to be gentle and have leverage, so find what feels right for you. Yeah. And we're here for three. Two. Full breath in. And as you exhale, drop that left arm down and then inhale, both arms up, sit a little lower in your chair. Mm -hmm. And then as you exhale, swim the left hand to the outside of the right leg and swim that right hand back. And again, if that doesn't feel right, lift that left arm up. Maybe you wrap the hands around the body instead. You choose. For three. For two. Full breath in. As you exhale, swim that right arm down, forward, both arms up, breathe in. And exhale, forward fold. Beautiful. Inhale, flat back, long spine. And exhale, palms to earth, crawl it forward, crawl it backward. Find yourself in a down diggity dog. And then feel free to let the hips shift from side to side as we make our way back to earth. Notice if you're dropping weight into the heels of the hands and always, always make that check and then press the weight through the palm, through the finger. It's important that we protect our wrists. Beautiful. Take a huge inhale, come onto your tippy toes, and then send your right leg slowly to the sky. Fill up. And as you exhale,
exhale, step the right foot between the hands. Yep. Breathe in, prepare. Breathe out, feel how strong your legs are. And one, inhale, swim forward and up. And then one, exhale, slowly plant the palms to the ground. Breathe in, prepare. And breathe out, slide that right foot up and back. And then bend the leg and stack the hip. Fill up. And then gently set that foot down. We're going to find that on the left side. Inhale, tippy toes. And slide the left leg up. Breathe in. And breathe out. Step the left foot forward. Breath in. Stay for the breath out. And then inhale. Sweep those arms up, 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 up. Maybe you find a smile. And then breathe out, slowly plant those palms down. Breathe in, prepare. Breathe out, slide the foot back, down dog. Gorgeous. Inhale, tippy toes. Exhale, slowly shift forward until your knees make connection with the earth. And then inhale, untuck the toes, press into the tops of the feet. And then exhale, start to roll the hands back, slide the hands back, 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 and sit up onto your shins. Inhale, lift those arms a lot. And exhale, hands to heart. All right, it sounds, and it feels, and it looks like my edible creatures, or the creatures who think I'm edible, are waking up now that the sun is lifting. So we're going to wind this baby down to the ground. Let's bring our hands to heart, and we're going to find a little bit of core first. It's going to be very subtle but delicious, so press into the tops of the feet and find your body weight, trusting yourself backwards, engaging yourself backwards. And you're just going to find a little pulse in an area where you're challenged. And it's going to be brief. It's going to be three, two, take a full round in. And as you exhale, slowly shift forward and then set the tush down. All right. And as you get onto the knees, if this is your moment, but maybe, again, cross legs if you need to. Just find a little organic movement in the seat. We are going to take it down. We are going to take it down quite yet though. Find just a little movement. Close the eyes. Wiggle around. Trust yourself. Biggest, biggest thing to ever do and be in, in energy to put forward into the world is an energy of trusting yourself. Don't worry how it wiggles and what it looks like. Just do it and know that your intuitive guide has got your back. Gorgeous. And then when you feel good and intuitively wiggle, Shift your hips to either side, and then send the legs out long in front of you. Yep. Let the hands sit behind you for a moment, and just take a second here to be legs kicked out, hands supporting you. Take a moment to absorb and, and find some beauty in your surroundings. Take a huge inhale. And a huge exhale. One more inhale here. And then exhale, slowly roll forward, finding yourself in a seated forward fold. Reach the hands for the toes. If you need to bend the knees to make contact with the toes, do it. One breath in, one breath out. Or just slowly inhale up. And then exhale, recline back into your final rest. And we're going to take 10 breaths in this final rest of being completely aware of the breath and consciously and actively softening and relaxing your body. Find any little wiggles you need to before you 
you begin your breathing and know that it is so hard to stay stay um, aware and present for 10 full breaths. So if you get one breath in and you wander or two or three and you wander, that's all right. Just call yourself back. Take a few more. Call yourself back. Take a few more. Okay. All right. Let's go. We'll start together in and out. Then on your own for the next nine. Beautiful. Let your next breath be really expansive. As you exhale, bend the knees and bring the soles of your feet to the earth. And then slowly bring the knees in towards the chest and wrap the hands around the body, giving yourself a big squeeze, curling the head up to the knees. Maybe you kiss one knee. Mm, I love you, knee. Mm, I love you, other knee. You can rock the hips side to side, breathe in, and breathe out. Then gently release the hands to the backs of the legs and invite yourself to rock and roll, rock and roll up into a seat. Yep. And then as you find your seat, As you find your seat, you can make a little adjustment, find it to be really comfortable and delicious, and let the spine be long. Let the brain remain unhurried as we wrap this up, bringing the hands wherever you feel really powerful right now. Let the eyes close, and we're going to seal this baby up with an ohm, and I'm going to invite you to just let it fly let it let it come out of you in a very untethered free way full round of breath to prepare inhale for all my friends thank you thank you for hopping into this portal with me and moving deep and you know 
If you are already subscribed to this channel and you've been along for the ride and you've touched into the any other several hundred offerings I have on here, thank you. Thank you for being here. If this is your first time, welcome. And invite yourself to subscribe and invite your friends and your grandmas and your aunts and your uncles. Um, sharing is caring and movement is medicine. Let's see how long class wound up being, hey? <laughs> uh, 35. I made it beyond the 30 minute mark and the mosquitoes didn't bother me till the end. Glorious. Yeah, that makes me pretty happy. Uh, all right, friends. Well, thank you so much for being here. I am going to give you a little pano of this incredible spot real quick before we... Well, before I skadoodle. Wow, how about that framing? Good golly. Oh. Anybody else just really love an alpine lake? Like, look at all these Indian paintbrushes. The wildflowers out here are just incredible. Ah. Oh. All right, my family, my friends, my dudes, I will catch you next time. Bye.